Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Harry and I like to talk about coding around these parts. Today I want to talk to you about learning coding. Uh, in particular, how I learn to code. Um, there's a few ways that I usually default to when learning something new. Uh, the first part is the general lay of the land, so to speak. I like to kind of learn all the parts that exist in a thing. So for example, with JavaScript, if I were learning JavaScript to begin with, I kind of get exposure to all the different pieces. Like what is the JavaScript API? What is the DOM API? What are the base primitives? And kind of just getting a general feeling for what things exist. And that kind of gives me a grounding to just know where I can then look up things later in more in depth because the second part of how I learn generally is by actually having some hand-on experience, actually finding a project to actually play around with and actually start applying my general knowledge onto a specific thing. So one of the default things people usually do is making a to-do app, which I find pretty boring nowadays, but you know, find whatever project you can think or dream up that actually helps you get some hand-on experience. And then when you start trying to mess around with arrays, you'll realize that JavaScript arrays have all these built-in methods that let you make that a much easier task to begin with. And that's kind of how I make the general and the specific kind of go together to help me kind of learn these things. And it's a lot of rinse and repeat, just doing it over and over and over again. Um, which is why uh, I got an email from somebody and uh, I've gotten emails from people in the past talking about things they've made and I've been like, cool, that's fine. Not really a thing that I can really get behind because I like to try to be as authentic as possible on here because this is a channel for fun, not really directly for profit, it's just mostly for fun. And this person had this really cool idea that I'd never seen before. He, he, he sent me a free thing, like this is, I got, I got this for free, but it's essentially, uh, what is it, can you do this? The coding cards. It's essentially flashcards, so I gotta focus. It's essentially flashcards to help learn JavaScript and data structures. And it's not anything I've ever seen before, and I thought it was actually a really interesting idea. So he sent me a copy, I took a look at it, and I remember doing flashcards when I was in school uh, and they kind of helped. I think at the most I ever used flashcards was learning the 50 states, which I still got, I think like a 40% on that. So maybe not the best example of flashcards helping me, but I know people swear by flashcards. I think it's just a good way to kind of like get some raw knowledge about how things work. So this is a car that has nothing on it. It's the cover, the cover letter, so to speak. And then kind of the table of contents. So, you know, they have all the JavaScript topics in here. This is not focusing at all. So you have things like variable. So like for JavaScript, it has like the, the fundamentals, variable hosting, function expressions, and if I can actually find the cards that go with it. So yeah, variable hosting shows you like how variables are hoisted. So if you're interviewing, you can just go through these cards and kind of get a feel for like what they do, which I think is kind of a neat idea, especially if you're just trying to kill time, you're watching TV, you can have a card out. I don't know, you've done flashcards in the past, I'm sure, so you know how they work. And then even more applicable to me, quite frankly, is, is a whole thing of data structures, which is really cool to actually, uh, is it seeable? Data structures? Data structures. Um, which I could probably use a brush up on myself, frankly. Um, and I'm kind of just bringing this to your attention because for two reasons. One, I think this is genuinely a interesting idea. It's pretty cool. Uh, a unique way to learn something new. And I'm a big believer that the more ways you can have to learn something, the more the increased chance you have to actually learn the thing. So that's one. Also, this is just a dude out, I think in New Jersey, who just made this. Like he had a need for himself. He made a PDF originally, and I think he then just had a whole run of cards being made. So it's somebody hustling just like me to make things work. And this is pretty cool, Heapify. I didn't even know this was a thing. What is Heapify? I have no idea. Probably should study, study these a little bit more. Doubly linked list. Oh man, this glare is the best, isn't it? You can't see anything. Glare. Doubly link list. Is this better? There you go. Doubly link list. Oh, this is so hard. I don't know, man. This is some really cool stuff in here. And uh, I just want to kind of share it with you. Uh, he gave me a discount code, which is kind of cool. So if you want to, you know, support this person, but also learn some things yourself, uh, there's a discount code uh, of my name, which is uh, Harry Wolf. So if you go to the codingcards.com, go to Harry Wolf, you can get 30% off the flashcards. So a way to learn and also a way to, su to support a uh, indie dude, which is kind of cool. And what else is on here? We have 
data structures, recursion, uh, binary search tree, a try. And you know, they say, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. Uh, B minus trees, B plus trees, B vitamin trees. That's not a thing. <laughs> um, and JavaScript, closures, callbacks, promises, iffy methods, object mutations, things that I try to teach on that channel, on this channel, that if I haven't succeeded, <laughs> then maybe you should give the coding cards a try. Coding cards. That was a pretty cool thing. It's a cool little thing. I don't really, I, I get, um, I don't actually get contacted that much. I'm trying to inflate my ego, but every so often somebody sends something that's kind of neat and I figure I kind of share it with you all out there. So uh, if you are curious about this, thecodingcards.com, promo code Harry Wolf, and maybe it'll help you enjoy. Um, the only thing I got paid is just with these cards. That's it. Just, I think it's a cool thing to share with you. So that's the skinny of it. Uh, that's the video. Just kind of wanted to share this kind of cool thing with you. Hopefully you enjoy. And uh, I'll see you again in the next one. Stay happy. Stay flashcard coding. Catch you around.